Today I would like to spend a little bit of time discussing something that goes back to early stages of training in Chinese martial arts and other arts as well, but specifically traditional Chinese martial arts regarding focus. When I first started my uh, Northern Shaolin training as a kid, uh, most of the time when we kicked, we would kick our hand. Um, and there was also techniques, and even up in the upper echelons of northern Primanus, where you're actually using your hand as a target, like for the elbow. Um, and when I was younger, I wondered why that was. And I was always told it was focus, okay? <laughs> and here's the funny thing about that concept, okay? Focus as an answer is an abstract thing. You don't really understand what it means until much later. But in essence, you're learning something very early that is extremely high level. So when you're dealing with something that's a basic that is high level, you start to understand that it's all, all the basics are the high level um, concepts. So if I use an outside kick, uh, say a left foot outside kick, I hit my hand, okay? Now I know that if I can touch it with my hand, I can kick it. For an example, if, uh, if you know, in the, in the form of the Dan Choi, there's a technique, which is actually a shoulder technique. And what it is, is the, the practitioner parries a strike, a second strike, sometimes a third strike, and then as it parries the third strike, it grabs it from the bottom and inserts the shoulder into the cabinet. We'll just do two strikes, okay? So Bob goes with his lead, which is this one, so we'll say Bob's right hand, okay? Bob goes with his lead, and I step in, and then second bob strike and then I get underneath that arm and I insert my shoulder into Bob's solar plex region but actually because of the way that I'm hitting his arm with the parries with full motion it actually ends up being somewhat here underneath the rotation which is a banji of Leo especially Bagua as well as I move forward You'll see this. Okay, I will replace this, this arm. Take the arm, hook it underneath. You're gonna whip his body upwards to expose the rib cage, okay? But the intention transfer goes from here to here. When? When they pass each other. Push this way outside. I strike here. Okay? Then the same arm that I just moved out of the way, I pick up. So the intention still follows through. Those are delta motions. See how they mimic this from both sides. 